Pesages. So um, he's due February's generals for your sales on the back this weekend, over this weekend to do the moon sounds for you. Um, and love readings for Valentine's Day. So these are generals, tickets it resonates as a collective. Um, collective reading, so it's not going to resonate later on. Check your sun, moon, rising and your Venus. And I want to say something else then. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, these are extended readings. So if you'd like to join Patreon, the link is in the description box below where you can get access to the extenders, uh, bonus readings, things like that. They're all down there. My social media links as well because there's some dodgy uh, Facebook pages of me. I cannot send friend requests from my business page. So the only link to my Instagram and my Facebook is in the description box below and my website as well. So I will I don't message people and don't send friend requests. So, Sagis. Let's have a look what's going on in the month of Feb. The free of ones. Some of my Sagittarius could be needing a break. <laughs> the free of ones. Well, the free of ones is also about um Having faith and trust that what's meant for you is never going to pass you by. It's not going to pass you by. So if you, you feel like you've been kind of standing at the shoreline, waiting for something to happen, it's coming in. It's it's coming in. I wanted to say that kind of bad your time. Queen of Swords being the main energy. So Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy there. Queen of Swords, I feel like you're in February. You may be dealing with an air sign, but... I feel like you're taking a more kind of logical stance with things, Sagittarius, at the moment. It's like you've got a plan on going forward. But it's like, when do you take the action to go forward? And I feel like that's what it is. It's all about timing. I feel like it's all about timing. So the, when I was saying bide your time and, you know, waiting at the shoreline. So it's almost like you're waiting to do something. What's crossing that energy is we've got the devil card. Capricorn energy there. So you may have done with Capricorn. You may have Capricorn in your chart. But the challenge is it, it's like toxic energies. I feel like you're getting out of toxic cycles and you know you are so unless you're dealing with someone else's uh toxic cycles but it's not just toxic as well with the devil card being there it can be like mental health bad mental health it can be anxiety it can be depression it can be you know anything toxic self-indulgence you know um drinking too much drugs overeating overspending you know that type of thing so I feel at the moment it's about that kind of being kind to yourself and knowing that you will take them steps and you are taking them steps, but there's no rush. You know, there's no rush involved. Why is it coming right now? We've got the five of swords in reverse. <clears throat> so I feel like you've come out of some kind of controlling situation. Um or where you felt like you've no control over that situation. And maybe that's the challenge with the devil card being there. Maybe someone else had the control or it was like a, a complete situation where you felt like you lost control. The King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Maybe dealing with Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer or you may, be, um, you may have water in your chart. But the King of Cups is... It's the caregiver to me. It's the charity worker, the healer, the doctor, counsellor, you know, that type of energy. So I do feel like there's something emotional going on with Sagittarius at the moment. Um, the King of Cups is upright, though. So I feel like you may have already reached out for help um, or someone may have reached out to you. So there's definitely this like kind of waiting game. Yeah, because, see, the blind folds off. You know exactly what it is. So if it's an issue that you're carrying, you know what it is. It, it's like, I do feel like you're willing to look in the mirror and say, you know, blind fold off, guard down. You know, I feel like February is a month where it's okay to be vulnerable. So maybe, like, 
in the past, especially if you've been in situations where you had no control or someone else had all the control, it's hard to be vulnerable. It, it's hard to come back to that point where you can be vulnerable with other people, especially when you've had someone where they've seen vulnerability as a weakness, you know. Because going forward, we do have the tower in reverse, Scorpio energy there with the tower. But I feel like it, it's about waiting and kind of going it slowly and not rushing into anything because you're avoiding a tower. So in the past, maybe you've kind of jumped into things too quick and maybe that's why you're waiting on something, um, giving it more time in, biding your time, that type of thing, to avoid a disaster or avoid a tower moment. Your power is you, the King of Wands. That fire energy, Sagittarius Leo Aries energy. But the King of Wands upright is motivated, is ambitious, is like I've got that get up and go now. You know, I'll I'll you know, I'm sorry, one sec. I'm ready to take the steps forward. I'm not gonna run, but I know where I'm going. I've got that drive to do it now, I've got that fire to do it now. So it's like a fire in your soul, but then there's like um there's also this fear of people seeing you vulnerable, fear of people seeing you hurting. And if someone's made you feel like that, then, you know, I, I apologise on their behalf, but it, it's not nice. It's not nice. I've been in a similar situation to that where you couldn't show your vulnerabilities and things like that. And I feel like to bear your soul to somebody... So it could be like counselling. Maybe it's some of my are starting therapy or counselling this month. Um, but to, it's like to almost bear your soul would be on the same level of like standing in a football stadium naked, if you get what I mean. Yeah, you know, to me it would be because I don't really show anything apart from my shoulders all the time. Um, but that's what I mean. That's, that's where I would be my most vulnerable. Um, so I do feel like there's something coming around where you're going to be showing your vulnerable side. Outside influence, eight of wands, communication, backwards and forwards communication. It could be the start of a friendship, the start of a new relationship, but maybe you're like, I need to take this slow. Uh, I need to take this next process slow because I'm still healing. Um, you know, but there is like a busy energy and there is things going on. In your hopes and fears, we've got the Emperor energy there, Taurus energy there. Um, Emperor is, to me, it, it is Taurus. It, it is Aries to a lot of other tarot read readers, but this is what I try and explain to everybody. I resonate, I've been reading with my tarot decks for a very long, long time. And my Emperor is my dad and he always shows up as the Emperor card. And the April 20th is Taurus. Well, it's cusp. So I take it as both. So, they could be, with me going on into my dad, they could be like parental issues, father issues, um, maybe there's some inner child issues. It, going back to your childhood, is it a parent that's made you feel vulnerable or where you had to hide your vulnerabilities to? You know, maybe you've been br brought up that and now it's like, I need to do this, you know, I need to show myself because you can drop your defensiveness. Your outcome is the seven of wands in reverse. So no longer feeling like you have to feel defensive and on guard. So I do feel like there's definitely a vulnerability type energy to this. I want to look at the devil. Yeah, the hangman. You're definitely delaying something or someone's delayed something. There's, de there's been a delay to a healing. But I feel like relationships and things like that have been delayed as well. We've got the Two of Cups there. The Taurus energy again with the Hangman. But see, the star in reverse. You're not seeing the blessing just yet. And I feel like it's the blessing of being vulnerable. Because that is a blessing once you find your tribe or a person who you can be vulnerable with. Yeah, see, I do feel like you tried in the past. We've got the chariot there, and I'm looking straight at the red cross out of cancer there. But the ten of swords, it felt like just constantly stabbing yourself in the back, or they were stabbing, you know, feeling like you were going to be stabbed in the back. Maybe you were vulnerable, and you told someone how you felt, and they went and told someone else. Uh, you know, it's that type of energy. But I feel like you're doing this because you're avoiding a tower. 
you want to avoid a sour yeah you may be still feeling like you're in the stormy waters emotionally but things are going to smooth out for you Sagittarius I really like the reading and I feel like you can drop your defences you've got people or a person around you where you can be vulnerable but I feel like that's scary the queen of swords you know so again you started off with the queen of swords you've ended with the queen of swords see maybe you're looking at things a bit too logical and maybe that's where you need to put the action in you know maybe it's more of emotions because this i don't feel like this logical type energy is going to help emotionally yep there you go queen of cups so it's about gaining balance between your emotions and your thoughts uh, you know on going forward and being vulnerable so i'm gonna dive into the extended if this is where i leave you i'll leave you with lots of love bye